Why do we need three successive days for tuberculosis detection? It's a question that might have crossed your mind, and today, we're going to unravel the mystery behind it. Imagine a world where Mycobacterium tuberculosis, the bacterium that causes tuberculosis, is easy to detect. Unfortunately, we're not quite there yet. This bacterium is notoriously tricky to identify and requires a meticulous process. The first step in this process is the collection of a sputum sample. But why just any sputum sample won't do? It's because the best sample for detection is the first morning sample. This is due to the fact that the bacterial load is highest in the sputum that accumulates overnight. But why three days? Well, it's not just about quantity, it's also about consistency. By collecting samples over three days, we can increase the chances of detecting the bacteria if it's present. It's like casting a wider net to catch a very elusive fish. Once we have our samples, we move on to the microscopic examination. Here, the sputum is smeared on a slide and subjected to a special stain known as the acid fast stain. This staining technique is specifically designed to highlight mycobacterium tuberculosis. So how does this acid fast stain work? It's quite intriguing. The stain, once applied, is resistant to decolorization by acids during the staining procedure. This allows the bacteria to retain the initial stain color, a bright pink against a blue background. If you see this under the microscope, you've got a positive detection of mycobacterium tuberculosis.